Hey guys, CB Super here. Today's quick tip is going to be creating symbol titles inside the DaVinci Fusion tab. Let's get started. So I already have DaVinci Resolve open. I'm going to create a new bin by right clicking new bin. I'm going to title this footage. Just to the right of that, I'm going to go ahead and right click again, twirl down to import media. Just going to bring in this footage of this guy on his cell phone. I'm going to go ahead and drop it into the timeline. We want to create a title for this. We're going to do it pretty easily. First thing I'm going to do is come over to the effects library come down in the toolbox to generators, solid color. I'm gonna grab the solid color and I'm just gonna bring it out and drop it over my footage to make its own channel. Right click on the solid color, come up to new compound click. We'll call it title and create. Now I can actually click on this, go to the fusion tab. And now I'll be able to actually work on the title screen itself inside of fusion. I'm actually not going to need this media node. I'm going to go ahead and left click on it and delete it and create a new background. I'm going to grab this little gray square with my left mouse button and just drop it on the media out. Now I'm going to need a couple things. Really, I'm going to need a text node, which I can go ahead and click on the text node and a merge node. Now those came connected already because my cursor was still on the text node. But if they're not, you can go ahead and just grab that little gray square and just drop it on the merge node. Now I could disconnect this media out and then connect it to the merge and then reconnect it and establish like that. Or I can just hold down shift, grab the merge button and just drop it right in there. And now I just grab this gray square again and connect it back up to the merge. I'm going to go ahead and use my left mouse button to just give myself a little bit more room up in the viewer. Use my mouse to just kind of move these, these cursors around a little bit. Now click on the text node, type in my new movie title of Phone Guy. Maybe increase the size a little bit. Uh, there we go, that's good. And you could change the title to whatever you want. That's gonna be too big. There we go, Phone Guy. There's tons of attributes you can go ahead and uh, kind of play around with down here. Uh, and you'll notice that all of these attributes are actually keyframeable. So you can click on this keyframe and you can go down a few frames and then change the size. And then when you play it back, you'll notice that it actually changes size over time. I'm gonna go ahead and Command Z, get back to where I was on that. Maybe possibly, there we go, that'll work. And just increase the size. Now you can jump over back over to the Edit tab and you'll notice that you have a nice black title screen. Um, but the problem is, is that you don't want a black title screen. You actually want to be able to see the footage underneath. We can go ahead and cut out all this black background. There's, there's two or three different ways that we can do this. One is click on your title, come up to the composite mode and just go to add. That'll do it. Um, you can also go back over into the Fusion tab, go to Merge. And instead of uh, go to down to the operator and instead of over, you can click in. And then if you go back to your edit, you'll see that uh, that's also made it transparent. And one of the last ways we can do this actually is go over to the background node and just turn the alpha down. That way when you jump back into the edit tab, your text will be right there on your footage. Thanks for watching. This has been a quick tip by CV Super and DaVinci Resolve 16. If you have any questions or comments, leave it down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and click on that bell notification. Thanks guys. See you in the next one.